I'm here with Stephen Munitones, founder of Wowza, or the World Open Water Swimming Association. Stephen is also a marathon swimming historian. We are just days away from the Tokyo Olympic Games, so we're profiling the 25 men and 25 women competing in Odaiba Marine Park for the Olympic 10K marathon swim. Today, we are talking about Philip Seidler. Stephen, what can you tell us about Philip? Um, this 23-year-old from uh, Namibia, um, he's actually swum some races in uh, South Africa against Michael McGlynn, who qualified for South Africa as part of the uh, uh, second qualification swim. Uh, but Philip qualified as an African continental representative. Um, it was a dream come true. Um, he gives great interviews about how you know he's been working toward this. And, and if you look at his road to the Olympics, it's an unlikely one. You know, he's coached by his mother, um, which in itself is quite unusual. Um, and, uh, you know, I think about it, this guy's got to be mentally tough. So he wakes up in the morning, he's eating breakfast with his mom, they drive to the pool, his mom's on the pool deck. I mean, you know, we all have mothers and, you know, they always tell us what to do, how to do it, when to do it, and how to do it right. And I'm sure she's the same way, you know, how to train right, how to give it your all, you know, and everything. And, and then they get back in the car and then return home. So, uh, you know, he's been coached by her for, for a long time. And, and I think that makes him really, really tough. Um, uh, it, it means that, you know, uh, he's very proud of his family. He's very proud of his country. He's very proud of the route that he took to get to Tokyo, and he should be. Um, you know, he's a, he's a very decent swimmer, 404 in the 400 meter freestyle, 825 in the 800 meter freestyle. Um, you know, he, he got 42nd in the 5K. Think about this. He got 42nd in the 5K race at the FINA World Championships only two years ago. Yet he still kept his Olympic dream alive got 42nd, and he still believed he could make the Olympics, which is what he did. Uh, and I got I to gotta hand my hat off to him. You know, he's, he's traveled to Seychelles. Um, you know, he's, he's appearing in his first Olympics. He's done a bunch of South African 10K um, national championship races. Um, you know, he got 30, what is it? He got 31st in the 10K race uh, two years ago. So he got 42nd in the 5K, he got 31st in the 10K, and he still said, I'm going to be there in Tokyo, and that's what he was able to accomplish. My hat's off to him. I love that, Stephen. What an inspirational story. It's so exciting for these guys to make their first team. So what, how's he going to approach this? What's, what's the strategy? What's the psychology like for someone like Philip coming into this 10K in a diver marine park? Um, he's, he's in that group. Uh, we just... Uh, we uh, looked at profiled uh, Hao Li Fang of, China, of uh, um, Canada, um, and he's in that four, you know, low four minute five, uh, four hundred meter freestyle, you know, mid uh, uh, four what was it uh, eight fourteen, eight twenty five, eight hundred meter freestyle. So he's got to hang on. I mean, he's got to hang on to the the main pack and then the trailing pack uh, for as long as he can. Um, and if he could, you know, team up with the, the other guys around his same ability, um, it'll be a race to the finish uh, with a 404, uh, 400 meter freestyle time um, representing uh, Nabi, Nabimbia. I apologize if I mispronounce that. Um, you know, he's gonna swim uh, uh, extraordinarily well that's my prediction he's going to swim extraordinarily well can he move up in the seatings uh, i don't know that's that's going to be a little bit tough um but you know this is the olympics the world is watching um and uh, i don't know how many countrymen are actually going with him to tokyo i would i would dare say not that many so the eyes of his countrymen will be on him and he's going to give it his all 100 percent yeah it's so special for these small countries to have a representative so we'll be watching for philip and we'll see if he moves up a couple of places thanks so much Stephen. you're welcome